Do you hear what I'm hearing? The girls are stomping their way into the workroom because it is time to get the girls into the entrance lux. You ready? Come on, entrances. Let's get sickening. Bootleg opinions. Cold turkey might be a great idea on sandwiches, but there's a better way to break in your bad habits. And we're talking about Fume, baby. This video is sponsored by Fume. And they look at the problem in a different way, baby. Not everything in a bad habit is wrong. So instead of a drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad from your habit? Wait, you gotta tell me more. Fume is an innovative, award-winning flavored air device that does just that. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural. Instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. And instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses all natural, delicious flavors. There's literally so many flavors to choose from. Mmm. Sweet, pepperish. Very flavorful. Really? It's that simple? Fume has served over 150,000 customers and many success stories, and there is no reason why that couldn't be you. No way! Uh, girl, I'm signing up right now. So, go to the link description or scan the QR code to get 10% off your journey pack with Fume. It can start today! What do you look for in the entrance looks? Well, I look for an iconic look that will be remembered for years to come. I'm looking for glam. I'm looking for your own unique style. And most importantly, Mama, I'm looking for drama. Same here. We first up have Q, who's giving us, if it ain't good, I ain't interested, okay? I really do love this look, but I will get to the con in just a little bit. I love the huge shoulders with the feathers with the ruffles. It really makes a huge statement. And I really love the sparkles that she incorporated at the top as well as the middle of the outfit. Now, as far as the bottom of the outfit goes, I feel like it's missing the other half. I would love for her to tie in with the rest of the look with the top. But other than that, she looks cool. It's memorable. I also love this look. I think she looks amazing, and I think the stonework on all of this corsetry is beautifully executed. I do agree the bottom half feels a little less thought about in comparison to the upper half. I wish these things that are coming out of her sleeves would have gone all the way down to the ground. I think that could have definitely added some more drama. And I'm not crazy about the garters. I think they're a little off in their color. I wish it... It had been a little bit more of maybe a pattern. So maybe that same pattern that's on her corset, if she could have had that continue down onto the legs, I think that would have really added an extra zhuzh. But overall, I think she looks great. And like you said, it's definitely memorable. Next up, we have the queen of New York, Miss Tsunami. I don't like the look. I'm not even gonna beat around the bush. It's a no for me. I don't like the pants. I don't like the color choice. I think this old ruffle up top is super dated. It's just not a look for me. With Tsunami for me, I kind of agree, but I feel like if she just took the same shade of the blue all the way down, then it would have worked better. Because I feel like with now, it just seems like she has this undergarment of the lighter blue slash silver. And then the outfits with the darker blue it's just kind of missing the bottom half kind of like the previous look she thought about the top but she forgot about the bottom but overall i think it's cool the, the shoulders are cool but yeah it's missing the bottom half for me i think you're lying it's not good but okay <laughs> no i really do like it i just think it's missing the bottom half to each his own to each his own that look is perfect for youtube because you only see the top just like me and you we only worried about the top <laughs> Uh, baby, Wait till they see the bottom. Baby, the bottom is sitting. How dare you? The bottom has no shoes. Uh, they're for <laughs> slides. How dare you? I have Old Navy. $5 for two slides. <laughs> <laughs> Budget queen. Yeah, I mean, look. You like it. You love it. I don't. And there it is. I don't love it. It's okay. But it's... should I say it's... Oh, uh -uh. They don't even get that from me. <laughs> Next up is a mandatory meeting, and she's giving her signature drag and secretary drag because she's always going to a meeting. Um, it's very executive realness. We love, no I don't. We see the secretary outfit in this, um, but for me what really threw it off was the breastplate around the neck area. It was like really like shouting at me. But overall, I think this is a okay look. 
No, don't like this look either. Too simple, too plain. I mean, I can see Detox wearing it to a meet and greet. So it's not a bad look. It's just for your entrance look, a two piece. A little too simple, a little too understated. I do like the way that the fabric is made, the texture of the fabric, super cool. I love the two color choices, but overall it's just a little too boring for me. Maybe if she had some big coat that she took off to reveal this, I could buy it more, but it just feels too simple. It's a two piece. Even if she has pants, I would have loved that better. Like pants straight all the way down, very wide pants. Yeah, and then she ripped off the pants to reveal the skirt. It just needed something more. I just feel like this is too simple. There's not enough there. It, it, it doesn't leave me wanting more because there's not enough to want more, if that makes sense. Yeah, there's just, just no wow factor. Well, I mean, there is a wow factor. She is the wow moment, but like, there could have been a little bit more. Definitely. Next, Next up, we have. Oh, it's Go. my turn now. Go. Next up, we have Miss Morphine. And again, she is looking so stunning, so soft, so womanly. I love everything from the waist up, but I do feel like the skirt and the shoes, again, are lacking. I do appreciate that she tried to add some detail to the shoes, but again, it just feels a little simple to me. I don't really feel like this is taking me fully into her world. I feel like the top with the stone adornment is so beautiful and so thought out. And then it was like, okay, let's just do a pencil skirt with a little bit of a peplum. It just, it was just okay for me. But I do think she looks beautiful. I do love that she's representing for her culture. I just think that there could have been more on the bottom half. I do agree. I feel like this one is like a little bit more of a two piece. Um, whereas I feel like the one previously, there's more of a little bit of a drag element to it. This look is a reference for another artist out there that did it for the red carpet. But to me, this seems a little bit more accessible. And then I know she didn't buy this from the store, but it looks like a little bit more accessible in the stores. And then she added some crystals on top of it. This is what it's really kind of giving me. But she is beautiful in the hair and makeup though. But I also really do enjoy that she added some of the drag elements to her shoes to tie into the outfit. But overall, for entrance for Drag Race, it's kind of a miss for me. Yeah, I wish maybe she had extended the skirt all the way down and then played with some, you know, panels of pink to bring the pink from the top in. Uh, maybe even adding some mesh cutouts. I think that that really would have elevated the look. Next up is my New York... No, no New York. Next up is our Philly sister, Safira Cristal, baby. And she's serving you bluebird realness. I love the hair. I love the feathers. It gives her great shape from the top. It opens up like this. And at the bottom, it drops down like this. She looks great. It's drag. It's exciting. I love, love, love the tall boots. In fact, I want the boots. I think the boots are sickening. I love the outfit. I mean, this for me is tens across the board. I love that she also took the same material from the shoes and put that around her neck. I love the hair. It's wild. It's crazy. I mean, I just think this is one of the best entrances. I just think this is one of the best entrance looks we've seen here in a minute. I definitely will remember this. I think she nailed it. I love the blue monochromatic tones. I mean, I just think this is phenomenal. If I was in the workroom and I saw her walk in, I would be ga 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 gagged. You sound thrilled, finally. I am thrilled. I'm finally seeing real full on drag. I'm loving it. Next up is Mirage, entering the workroom in her cutesy little look. Um, it's cute, but it's kind of giving me like baby queen walking around the bar. It's cute, but for an entrance look, I don't know. Not really hitting it for me. Not having an orgasm. Yeah, it's very cute for me. It's kind of giving me willow pill where it's like we're not trying too hard. We're trying to just like be ourselves vibe entering, but it just doesn't work for me. I think it's giving hodgepodge. It's giving raver. It's giving like wrapping ribbon around our leg, it's giving airbrush, it's giving dated, it's giving not what I'm looking for in an entrance look from a drag queen who's trying to prove that she is a drag superstar. I think it's a very acceptable look. It's great for a Wednesday night at a Hamburger Mary's, but to enter the workroom, it's not. <laughs> not even for me, girl. I know, actually you're right, not even. <laughs> You know like the girls that like get into their first few times in drag and they walk around the bar, you know, like trying to feel themselves, like trying to navigate through the drag world. This is what it's giving me. Like still finding themselves a little bit. I'm sure she has found themselves, but this look is not elevated enough. It's giving baby queen. Well, I mean, she literally has baby girl written across her chest. So yeah. 
Next up is Dawn, and I love this look. And I think that I said it in an earlier video is that it's given me creature, it's fantasy, and even with this makeup that she painted on, it's very beautiful, very Fantasia. Um, I love the different shades and textures of the brown. And then we kind of got this vinyl brown coming from the waist all the way down. Got this fur wrapped around her as well. Yeah, love this look. Okay, so I'm gonna have to disagree. I don't really love the look. I do think it's unique. I do think she's representing for herself. So great job on that, but I just don't love it. I love the neck rough. I think that that's really beautiful, but the rest of the outfit, it's just like, I don't get it. I don't see it. I'm not, I'm, I'm confused. I, I feel like there's like this double layer at the top with the corset and a little like the black. And then we've got this lamb skin or sheep skin down at the bottom. And then we've got this like Adidas vibration going over the shoes. I just, I don't really get it. She is confusion. I'm confused. Do you know what that mean? No, what does that mean? Uh, it's like this guy, he, he was trying to talk about like, why Arkansas, I think in Arizona or, or Kansas kind of look the same in spelling, but they sound different. And then he says, I am confusion. In the end. Well, I am confusion. I don't see it. So I am confusion. Why is this one Kansas? But this one is not Arkansas. America, explain. Explain. What do you mean in Arkansas? Next up is Hershey. I think that this is a cool look, but I think it needs a little bit of editing. I think the bodysuit is cute with the black and white, but the wrap around her waist that comes down all the way to the floor, it doesn't really make sense. I think we could have added in some of that black and white or just get rid of it because it kind of just distracts it from the entire look. Because without the print, it just seems like a lining fabric rather than a statement fabric. I hear what you're saying. I think actually what would have made this look perfect is to bring a purple satin to the inside of the cape tying in the hair. I think that would have made this look spectacular because what's really bothering me is like that purple, I know we can wear colored hair with whatever we want as someone who's colored my hair a million times, but for some reason as a drag queen, I feel like if you're gonna wear colored hair, it should like have some sort of correlation to the outfit or like a reason. And so right now, if the look was to stay the same, then I would say I'd rather see her in black or white hair. But I do think it's interesting to bring in this other color. So I feel like if she brought in that color into the cape, that would have really taken her to the next level. But I love the shoulders. I love the slit. I love the waistline. I love the little simple shoe with the way that the bodysuit cascades into it. I think she looks good. It is just a bodysuit. Again, not maybe the most memorable look we're going to see. But I think she looks put together and I think she's representing for herself well. She is confusion. <laughs> Plasma. Who? Your turn, Plasma. Plasma. Next up, we have Miss Plasma, and she is giving us another classic vintage look. Now, I think she looks very regal. Again, this isn't my personal style, but I think she looks good. I think she's showing who she is. I love the pleats of the skirt. I love the material up top. I love the way it cinches her in with the little purse and the clutch with the little clutch and the little simple shoe with the hat. I think it's a good look. I mean, again, it isn't really my style, so I don't necessarily love it, but I think she's really representing for her brand. I think this is a cool look. What kind of threw me off is the dress. I think here she added kind of like a mini petticoat at the bottom, and I don't think she needed it because she has this fitted top outfit on already, and if the dress was just like sleek down with the pleats coming down, it would have been really sexy, but overall, since she added the petticoat, it just seems like this. But I actually wish she would have added more petticoat so that it would have been more like more, that. more like a ballerina skirt. I think that actually would have elevated it and taken it to the next look. I love it. You always point things out that I'm like, wow, I didn't see that before, but you can. You can tell that the petticoat underneath was too short, and so that's why the fabric kind of went yeah. at the end. So yeah, I wish it was even bigger and more blown out. I feel like this is in a very weird volume area, but overall, this is kind of more memorable because it stands out on its own. Agreed. Next up is Miss Geneva representing Mexico. And she's giving the flag on the outfit. We see the green, we see the white, we see the red. And she also added a corset belt around her with a skirt at the bottom. I understand that she's trying to reflect a flag onto her with the stripes, but I think that one way could have been manipulated onto her body is to give us a little bit more of a shape with the white. Kind of like two curves on both sides so that we can still see her body. But overall, with it being straight, it kind of distorts the body a little bit. But it's cute. 
Agreed. I definitely, I knew you were going to say that. I really wish there was more of a shape to the outfit. I also think the big puffy sleeves aren't really doing her any favors. Love that she's representing. Love that this is stoned literally from H to T. But personally, I don't really like the look. It feels a little dated. It feels a little floofy. And I'm just not really able to like get into it. But I do know who she is. And I do think it's memorable. So she hit a lot of the points that I look for in an entrance look. But overall, I, I think the look is giving like ice skater 80s. Up next, we have Plain Jane serving body, oddy, oddy, oddy for your nerves. Have we seen this look before? We absolutely have. So is it the most memorable? No, it's not. But I do think she looks great and I love how she played with the different cheetah fabrics. I think she has really proportioned her body very well here and is accentuating the right spots. And I do love the red throw that she brought in for that extra added drama. But I think the look, like I said, we've seen it before. It's not the most unique. I agree. We've seen it a lot of times. But we can't deny that she doesn't look stunning. Or does she, she does look stunning. Which, what, what is the proper way to say it? She does look stunning. We can't deny that she does look stunning. Exactly. Um, I love the red on top of it. Very classic with the animal print. Very beautiful. Next up is Megami, honey. And she is serving you jewelries and embroideries on an outfit. <laughs> um, what? I'm trying to look for embroideries. something embroideries. positive. Embroideries. I know, but I know, I know what the word is, but I was distracted <laughs> by trying to find something nice to say to come out of my head. So my head idea shifted. But yeah, I just feel like there's a top and a bottom, and then she added stuff on. I uh, see the idea, but I don't think that it looks complete. Like, for example, around the bus area, why didn't she take it all the way to the top of the bus? And then... For the jacket or bolero, she does it over here, but then she forgot about the recipe. I don't know. It looks incomplete to me, but I do like the hair and sunglasses. I definitely hear what you're saying, but I like the look. I love these <laughs> sort of patches. I think they're super cool. In fact, Utica just did a look using these same sort of patches, and she covered the entire body in them, and it was Unreal, probably one of my favorite drag looks I've ever seen in my life. Just so shout out to Utica. So I kind of wish this queen would have gone there. I know it's expensive, but yeah. I wish she had taken the embroidment all the way down. But I love the look. I love the wreath in her hair, giving us, you know, Christ realness. I love the clutch. I love that she added the same patchwork to the shoes. So I do like the look. I think it's cool. But I don't mind the sleeves being as blank as they are because she's got tassels coming from them so I think that's fine but I agree that the body feels a little simple even though she has that big patch on the bottom lower half I just think it needed more spread out so that it would be even more in your face but I, I like it I love the red glasses I think she looks cool yeah I saw the Utica look that look was amazeballs but yeah I feel like it's half finished I feel like some of the queens that walked in kind of like her um they remember to do the top but the bottom it's like an afterthought you know right Next up, we have Maya looking like an orange cream sickle delight. I love this look. This is exactly what I was talking about with color coordination. I love how the hair matches the look, matches the shoe. I love the feathers. I love the sequins. I love the peplum. I love it. I think she looks great. She looks fabulous. Definitely one of my favorite looks. I love it too. There's coordination, there's color, there's drag, there's excitement, there's fantasy, there's theater, there's beast, there's sequin. This is fabulous. I love the bun in the middle of the hair coming down with the sleek straight orange hair coming at the bottom. The front, we see the feathers, very like fluffy, very airy. Girl, even my tone has changed because there's excitement. Um, there's sequin in the outfit. It gives her a great shape because of how the embroideries are done onto her. Um, the skirt with the ruffles, very beautiful with the matching shoes. Um, and these shoes are very up the now because it's very chunky, very clunky. Yeah, stunning, sexy. Jewelries to match too. Memorable. Next up, we have Queen Nymphia. I'm obsessed. Oh my god. I mean, this is kooky ooky, and I am here for it. I love the sunglasses and the hair cascading down to her face. So creative. I love that she's got one banana hanging from her hoo ha. From her yoo ha. So funny. I love the big reveal. I love the way she's, you know, reacting with these guns. I just think this is so, so cool. I love this look. 
I love it too. It's memorable. There's a story. It's camp. She comes in throwing in the banana and then she gets on her knees and starts like tch, 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 tch. and then she opens up. We see all these fake bananas inside. Um, yeah, love it. It's kind of giving me like a very Juno Birch drag too meets her. Very, very cool. Love it. The only thing that I would say, just to nitpick the outfit now that you freeze framed it right here, is I wish the corset was yellow. I know she's trying to give us like a nude illusion, but I think like a bright pleather yellow waist cincher would have really accentuated her, her snatched body. So who is your favorite entrance look that made a lasting impression on you, Ganja? My top three are Safira, Maya, and Nymphia. And if I had to pick one of my favorites, I would say Nymphia just because to me it is so memorable and I love the way she really acted out her entrance. I think it's something that will definitely make it into the top 10 of best entrances alongside your girl. Oh, okay. hi! Um, I do agree with you. Those are my top three. That has to look from top to bottom. As far as if we were just judging the look by itself, right? Um, without any movements, the queens entering, doing their spiel, I would say Maya because the whole look is just 100% done. Um, but if we were to include the entrances with the spiels and the acts that they do, I would say Nymphia. So congratulations, Nymphia. Woo! Well, I can't wait, sister. This is going to be so much fun. It looks like these queens are rowdy and ready to rumble. And I'm just so grateful that we got to have a chance to come together again today and talk that. And we can't wait to see you on January 6th for the new season of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 16. Till next time, bye! Stick around for more bootleg. More embroidery to come. Bye! Hey, squirrel friends, when one video ends, just click on another one. It's called cringe viewing. Go ahead. I support you.